So a little tip that I have for you guys, when you're doing trim work and mill work installs, we're always looking to be most efficient. So we're not either running back and forth to the saw, doing those little bump cuts where we're trying to shave a 16th or an eighth inch off. So what I could recommend is getting yourself a laser distance measure. The reason being is you're not bending the tape when you come into corners, whether you're doing coping or if you're gonna do a traditional miter into the corners. Our LDM, this is the LDM 250, and what this will mean for us, we've got a working range of 165 feet. Our accuracy is within a 16th at 100 feet, perfect for millwork installs. So what this gives you the ability to do is shoot from one end of the wall to the other with great accuracy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and arm it. I've got it set for inches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot a measurement at the other side of the wall. It comes up and tells me it's 216 inches, 5 eighths. So what I'm simply going to do is I'm going to write down what my overall number is. So I'm going to write 216 and 5 eighths. I, I have that dimension now when I'm getting ready to do my install. The other thing that's nice about it, if I had someone cutting over at the saw, this is what I could do. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sketch out this little room right here. We have a Stabila Measures app. So what this means is when I go ahead and shoot the number, it's gonna appear right on my app or at the cut table. So as I shoot this for the trim, as you can see, it just put the number right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move it up to where it goes. So now if I'm at a cut table, my cut man knows what I'm doing. I'm not yelling across the job or using cut off scraps to put my dimensions down. I could simply click out the entire room if I wanted. And I could go ahead and add my next dimension. Great way that you could become more efficient when you're doing your measuring, certainly more accurate. Like I said, bending that tape measure, bumping that blade, that little 16th of an inch back and forth. The other thing I wanna show you is really quite interesting. I find very efficient for myself. If it comes to doing high-end trim, stuff that you're not gonna be filling, uh, traditional wood finishes, chair rails, get yourself a Tech 700 DA, so you have your built-in spirit level. The other thing that you're gonna have is an angle finder, and you could also say it has a miter gauge slash bevel gauge. Take a look at this over here in this corner here. Come on over here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna light it up. And what you're gonna see is, when I go ahead and move this out, it's gonna give me exactly what that degrees of that corner is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come into this niche, if you guys take a look, and I'm gonna actually see what it is. So as we come down into here, whether I was doing traditional base or if I was doing chair rail, what you could do is take a look at the top here. And what you're gonna see is, we're not actually a true 90. What you're gonna do is hit that half gauge. It just told you what to put your miter box at. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down to this corner and I'm gonna write, I need to be 45.3 degrees. Now what I could do is I could transfer this to the other corner. Now I'm gonna come and sh check my other side here. I'm gonna see what it is. I'm gonna light it up so you guys can see it a little better. 90.1, I could hit my half gauge. It's gonna tell me what to set my biter box. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and check this outside corner as well. And I'm gonna come in and sit it right here. I'll light it up so you guys can see it. Half button. Now what I could do is I could write it right on the floor again, or I could even write it exactly where my chair rail is at. These are two great efficient tools that'll make your installs definitely a lot easier, a lot faster. More proficient, less walks to the saw. Thanks, guys.